Hello everyone, it's Girl in Minecraft, and I've returned with another part of Create the Crafter. So, in the last part, I was uh, out in this area, actually over there, grabbing lots more um, fruit and nuts and things for uh, growing trees. I'm starting my orchard. And uh, I actually came over here to this swamp area because a lot of the trees had started to be ripe because I was in the area for so long. And uh, yeah, I almost died to another crocodile. I'm still shaking a little bit, like, they are so fast, like, you don't see them, and I've been, I've been looking around me the whole time I've been around here, I'm just checking and checking every time, because I know they're lurking in the tall grass, but, like, I was trying to, like, it was trying to drag me into water, and I was trying to hit it, but the grass is in the way, because it's all, like, I'm just in the tall grass, and you can't hit entities in tall grass, you have to break the grass first. So I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so I was trying to hit it, and it had me down to, like, half health by the time it got me to the water. And then it started, like, spinning and, like, doing more damage. But I am so grateful for this armor that I have. Because if it weren't for this armor, I definitely would have died. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, that was crazy. I know I was gonna- I said I was gonna be back at my, uh, base- um, by the time I started this next part, but I just had to share that with y'all, and I thought maybe it'd be fun to, uh, you know, quote-unquote fun to run through the swamp back home. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just bring you guys along for that, and also wanted to harvest the rest of these trees that are ripe. Oops. And, uh, before I head back. So yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm so nervous. This place is just a death, just a death trap. There's so much, so much danger. Anyways, all right, let's, let's go. I wanna see if, uh, what is that, a dragon fruit? Oh, it's just a unripe dragon fruit. These are cool. There we go. I'm gonna try to get all these dragon fruits. I know it's not enough to start a tree, but I still want them. Is that all of them? I swear there was another piece. Where it at? Hmm? Where it at though? Anyways, these uh, squids are just dying. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I got all these really cool ones like lychee. Oh, I also got some kale, which I don't think I had already I may already have that and this jikama I don't think I had that either it's for your cooking oil and a p8 juice <laughs> which does three and a half hunger bars which isn't too bad so that might be something worth investing in let's get rid of this guy I'm gonna have to heal up my steel packs a lot of the time I get home because I used it a lot trying to defend my life Anyway, let's uh let's go. Let's let's run through the swamp. I'm gonna use F5 to get a vantage point of what's around me. Cause damn, those guys are sneaky and they are fast and they are silent and very deadly. Very deadly. Okay, I think I'm in the safe. Uh so we just grab some more D's. Is there any more that were ripe? I think I got them all. Aw, uh, I don't have quite enough. I almost have enough peaches. I'd love to have a peach tree. Um, peaches are good in real life and in game. They just look delicious in game. <laughs> ah! Oh, Lord. Just saw that just in time. Sorry for the ringing, but damn. Almost got yoinked by that guy. And also, more olives keep growing. <laughs> the olives are just growing like crazy now that I don't need them. Now that I have enough. Anyway. Oh, I did end up approaching a bear just to see what it would do. And, um, I can confirm. They are aggressive if you approach them. I just heard a bear, but I don't know where it is. Hello? Also, baby zombie.
knock knock knocking on heaven's door hold on while i try to combine some of my inventory here um yeah just clear up some space so i can grab these hello wait where did it go oh there's another guy Ooh. i like how it just like rings I should enable, um, I think my backpack has a feature that I can, like, allow stuff to pick it up. Sort backpack. I might be able to add something in here where it just, it just, like, it picks up stuff that already, it's already in the backpack. Oh, there's the fox over there. It just, like, auto-picks things up. That would... That would be an okay feature. I could see how it would kind of be annoying sometimes, but I wouldn't mind it at all. <gasps> More peaches! I'll take them. Give, 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 give. Also, there's a spooter. Hello? Die, spooter. Hmm, to keep the string or not to keep? That is the question. Soursop. I don't think I had soursop yet. A lot of these trees I might not end up growing, but um, you know, never hurts to take the materials because I might end up later saying, hey, actually, I really need this one. <laughs> and then, you know, all I have to do is grab some more. Where did that, is that a jockey? It is a jockey. I haven't seen a jockey in a long time. So cool. Oh, actually, I will take these bones. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll sacrifice the soursop and I'll take the bones because I want. And if I want soursop later, I just gotta come back here. Oh, I actually don't mean to. <laughs> didn't mean to make a waypoint. I don't think I have persimmons, do I? Don't believe so. Okay. Well, I hear a frog, ribbit, but uh, I need to head back. <laughs> Home, it's calling for me. Oh, you know what? Might as well. I have some papaw fruit in, or papaw fruit in my backpack. I may as well um, try to grab the rest of this. That way I can make a tree just cause like, may as well, you know? All right, nobody take my breadfruit. There we go. Cool, so that should be plenty. And I need to head back to my base. <laughs> so let's see, I just need to cross here and then run through the forest. I could take the water route. Um, does this connect? It does connect to the ocean. I don't know how I feel about going in the water in this area, but um, let's go. I'm definitely gonna get attacked by a gator and die. So it was nice knowing all of you. Um. Wait. Oh, it actually doesn't connect. I'm silly. Oh my god, I, I saw that crab, that lobster, sorry, out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, oh, a gator is coming for me. Wait, the frick just happened? I just did a trade. Wait, oh, I have lily pads. I was like, why can't I pick the boat up? Okay. Oh, look at all those ghosty dudes in the forest over there. Spoopy. I need to eat before something happens to me. Knowing my luck, I will get attacked while I'm low health. Alright. Now I can get in my boat safely. <laughs> there's always going to be a gator. There's a, I'm, a, I'm just haunted constantly by gators. Like there's all, They're just everywhere. Anytime I let my guard down, a gator just pops up and it's just like, Hey, you forgot about me. And then I just die. So, yeah. Thankfully, I haven't died. Uh, I think the first time I got down to like one heart or something crazy. Half a heart. I don't remember what it was. One and a half hearts, I think. Damn, that was that was super close. I, I think I was like panicking a little bit. So I didn't have like the clear a clear enough mind to like, oh, I need to hit this thing. Like, and I need to calm down and let my like my attack Thing work it's magic because like it, I've had the slow attack because this is uh, I'm playing on update 116.4 and um, at this point the the you know the delayed attack where it has to like charge back up 
is a thing, so. Um, yeah. When that gator attacked me the first time, it was so fast. It was so sudden. And I was in the ocean, so it, they, it was doing its, like, thing. It was dragging me. It was, uh, like, twisting and, like, just massacring my, my body. And I didn't have any good armor on me. I think I just had kind of random armor that I'd grabbed um, from chests. And I was like, oh my god, no, I'm gonna die. But I was like, I was like, just, I was basically kind of giving up almost. I was like, oh, I'm gonna die, you know. I'm just gonna let it happen. But at the same time, I was trying to fight back. I don't know, it was like, it was so nerve-wracking. Ah. Okay. Let's reset my spawn point, because I think I had set it at the village. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Nuts. Um, peaches. So, I will save eight of these. And then I'll save eight pomegranates. Coconuts I'll put away because I don't have enough. Bananas. Apricots I'll put away. Lemons. Uh, I don't have enough grapefruits. Don't have enough lychee or dragon fruit or breadfruit. Limes. We can save one. Uh, green grapes, which is pretty cool. I like that there's green grapes. That's very unique. Oh, also, while I was off camera, I did find a little cave. I heard a slime. So I went into this cave and I killed a giant slime. So now I have some slime balls. So that's going to be useful for things. Um, I don't know what this would be considered. Probably more like a nut of, of sorts, maybe. Vanilla. I will be making a vanilla tree. Rambutan. All right, I don't have enough of those or those or those. I have enough cinnamon. I don't have enough cashews. Spice leaf, tomatillo, kale. I already have rice and jicama. Okay, so these are all the ones that I, oh wait, these are all the ones in my inventory that I can make. <laughs> uh, I do have some more in my backpack. I can make some date, a date tree. Oh, let me put the pawpaws in here. Um, I can make some, a pepper tree, and an olive tree, and a cherry tree. Okay. Do I have a place for nuts and things yet? Veggies, greens, sugars. Oh, um, grains. Okay, I'll put nuts in here. This will be where I will store my nuts <laughs> like a squirrel. I'll put you with the greens. Yeah, I don't have kale yet, so I need to plant that. Tomatillo. Um, spice leaf, I believe, I have in here. Put a date in there. Put my peppercorns in here. I'll put the olives with these, because I know I can make, like, you know, oil and stuff out of that. Put you with my grains, put my sugar cane in there. I need to make a sugar cane farm as well. And apples, of course. I have an apple tree that I can make. Alright, what else do I have? Oh yeah, cherries, that's right. And I messed up my inventory. I messed up my backpack. I had it all organized, but then I hit the sort button like a silly person. Got some ores that I picked up while I was in that mine. Or in that cave, rather and some leather and I'll put these little old logs away and I'll just have to resort this. Okay, let's see, what can I do? I can put this in here. I believe I have my woods upstairs. Put these away. Put these upstairs with my wood. <laughs> I like how there's no walls in this room. I just go right through, it's just, <laughs> let's just use the door like a polite person. <laughs> okay. Um, put that away, put this block of gold in here, got some ores that I can grind later, oh yeah, put this away and that away, and I guess I'll put this carpet in my room next to my bed, kind of fits with the red theme that I not on purpose did. Okay, so now I have 3, 6, 12, 14 trees that I can make, so uh, let's do, I think I have a ton of this one so I can make 
I can just use this one to make my trees out of. Alright. Make a lime sapling, peppercorn sapling, pomegranate, cherry, apple, peach, vanilla, olive, cinnamon, papa. What is this? Antique atlas? Oh, that's a thing in this game? A lemon sapling, date, banana, hazelnut. I mean, I already have a map. But that's cool. Oh my gosh, cap log, hello. Antique Atlas. Oh, these are cool too. Ooh. Not actually super great armor, but press three times in one direction to do a dash attack. <gasps> that's cool. Okay. Um, yeah, a antique atlas. Um excuse me. That's a game that I, that's a game. That's an item that I've seen in um, other mod packs that enables you to like keep a map in your game. But I already have them like I have a map and I have like waypoints and stuff, so I don't necessarily need that. But it's really cool. It's a really cool item. Um, it's a very neat item. All right, let's put this stuff away. My weapons at the top. Storage wood sticks, food light and boat. Actually, I'll put this down here. Okay, that's organized. Um, I probably want to upgrade my backpack, honestly. Let's look into backpack upgrades. So, um, restock upgrade. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, this is the kind of stuff that I was thinking about. Magnets items into backpack at range. Filtering options. Fil filters items piped in and or out of backpack. Makes backpack pick up items. Has more filter options. Hmm. Okay. So I think I have a normal backpack because it has the brown straps. Netherite, ooh. That looks super cool. Um, also, this backpack is really cool looking. Backpack. Oh, okay. It's, it's, I wonder if it like, it looks like it's like a glow in the dark backpack or something. I like it. Uh, all right, iron backpacks. So I need to add iron, gold. Or diamonds or one netherite. Oh, that's nice. You can only you only need to do like like it's a normal thing. Okay, let me actually upgrade it to gold, I think. Because I have the resources and I would like to have more backpack space. And then I wanna add like some filters, um, some upgrades to it. Hopefully it keeps the color. Yay, it does. <clears throat> Yay, okay. Wow, look at all this space. Oh, and I can add multiple upgrades to it. <gasps> Auto smelting? Smelting in an upgraded tab. Upgrade tab. Um, everlasting upgrade backpack becomes indestructible. Can't despawn or fall into the void. <gasps> that is so OP. Oh my god, you need so many nether stars. I believe it. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, a stone cutter. Oh my gosh, I can... No, I can add a smelter to my backpack, as in I can smelt stuff from my backpack without having a furnace. Wait, is there a crafting table one? Oh, there is! Crafting table in an upgrade tab. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, upgrade bases are four string, four iron, and a piece of leather. I'm going to make some upgrades. Alright, what do I need? String and iron... So I need leather. Yeah, upgrade bases. Uh, upgrade bases. All right. So I've got... I'm getting so distracted, but <laughs> this stuff is cool. Okay, I need... I want a crafting upgrade for sure. So I need a chest, iron, and crafting table. Let's see if I have anything already made. I do have a chest. 
go. Alright. Just need to make a crafting table. So cool. Okay, so I need this. This. That. Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay. So, add that. Oh, I can craft stuff in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can literally craft. Dude. So awesome. Okay. Ah, I need to reposition myself in my chair. Okay. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay. Damn, this backpack mod is so cool. Sophisticated backpacks. Magnus items into backpack at range. Uh, makes it possible to put ba put backpacks into the backpack. <laughs> yes. Refill. Keeps refilling stacks of selected items in player's inventory. Oh, okay. Deposits items from backpack into shift right clicked inventory. Has more filtering options. Deposits items from backpack into shift right clicked inventory. Restocks backpack from shift right clicked inventory. Has more filtering options. Oh, that might be useful. Um, voids items selected and filter. Huh, okay. Advanced compacting. Oh, it can, uh, like, compress stuff. I like that. Feeds player with food from backpacks inventory. Oh, honestly? Honestly? Tempting, tempting. Okay, I might have to do this one eventually. Magnet upgrade. Magnets items into backpack at range. Filters items piped in or out of bag. I kind of want the pickup thing. Capacitor backpack. Interesting. Okay. Um. Whoa, those are expensive. Okay. This one I do want to get. Um, iron and redstone and a furnace. Okay. I like how I picked up more cobblestone when I already had some. Uh, what did I need? Redstone? Yeah. Uh. Oh my gosh. I'm such a derp. Oh my gosh. Yes. I wonder if you have to um, have the backpack open for it to keep smelting though. I am curious. So I can do one more upgrade. On, off. I wonder what that does. I ca okay, I think I'm going to get this one. Ender pearl, glistering melon, golden carrot, golden apple. I don't think I have any melons on hand. Um, I know I have carrots. Hello. Carrots. I might have a golden apple, actually. Oh, I put uh, nuts in there. Okay, well, I still need to organize my kitchen. So that's a thing. Alright, let me sleep. I don't think I have a golden apple. I thought I did, but I guess not. Um... Just grab all this gold. <laughs> Convert it. Yeah, I know. I have tons of more gold. And I can uh, I can grind it to a powder too so I can multiply it all. I think I need nuggets for this actually. Yeah, I need nuggets. Okay. I already have enough. There we go. There's one. Let me go check if I have uh, melons grown yet. I did plant melons. Yes, I do. Awesome. I should have pumpkins soon, too. All right, I can do glistering melon. What else did I need? Apple and ender pearl. I believe I have ender pearls. Let me check. <laughs> Watch me not have ender pearls. That would be annoying. I do. I have two. Awesome. Okay. And golden apple. So I'll need an apple. Oh no, do I not have apples? Okay, I'll chop a tree down or something. Um, I think this one needs nuggets as well. Yes. 
Okay, and then all I need is an apple. Okay. Apple time. I should plant my fruit trees too. <laughs> Alright, we'll take a quick break from this nonsense and plant my trees. And I'll chop a tree down as well and get an apple, so... Let's see, which one should I sacrifice? I like that tree there. It kind of, kind of brings in the area. I don't know, it felt kind of, felt too open before. So I just, I planted that tree. I wasn't trying to chop it down with a crossbow, I promise. I was seeing if you guys were paying attention. There we go, instant apples. <laughs> Alright, let's quickly do this. And then I will have an auto feeder. And I wonder, hmm, maybe that's what the on-off switch is for. So I can turn it off and it won't feed my player. I'm betting that's what that is. Okay, what am I doing with my life? Oh yeah, I needed... I believe it's the ingots for this. Yes. Alright. Auto feeder... Yeah! Oh, sick! It's clearly an occasional thing, though. I wonder if it feeds from my inventory first. If that's the case, I'm okay with that. Alright, backpack upgrades. Done. Pretty stoked about that. Put that away these in here and put that back in there and let's get this apple put in here okay nice now I can work on my orchard and honestly I need to leave lots of room for expansion for the orchard because there are so many kinds of trees and I definitely don't have all of them <laughs> um, I kind of want to use some of this area for the orchard and uh, not have it, because originally I was thinking it would be kind of like a border thing. But I think I want to do a separate orchard. So, I'm actually going to end this part here. And you guys are going to have to wait to uh, see how the orchard is, gets made. Because I'm going to do that in the next part. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me and bye.